Hey, and welcome to another video. So this is totally spur of the moment here, but I decided to take out the fireplace on the inside of the house. Originally, I wasn't gonna bother with that. I was gonna kind of leave that as a winter project. I'm still waiting for my concrete guy to contact me. I left a voicemail, I left a text. So I'm gonna give him another couple of weeks. If he doesn't actually reply back, I'm just gonna go with another company. Cause I'm still waiting to get the concrete done in the garage. So I figured in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the fireplace on the inside of the house which is basically just a thing of removing the bricks and the, basically the mantle, but that's basically what I'm getting rid of is it's a mantle. I mean, the actual fireplace part is gone, like that was in the garage. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna get rid of the mantle and then there's kind of like a, like a bottom piece, like basically like the guard, I guess it defl if there's like any sparks or whatever, because I mean, this used to be like a no wood burning fireplace. So basically gonna get rid of that part and then a mantle, and I'm not sure what it's gonna look like behind there. I'm hoping there's this drywall and then I can just patch the one hole where the actual fireplace was. But whatever it is, I'm just going to kind of patch it up temporarily. I won't be able to fix a drywall right away because I need to do a Home Depot order for drywall. And I may as well wait till I'm at the point where I can do the garage too. Because it's 50 bucks for a delivery. So yeah, so I just spur the moment thing there. It's actually kind of late, like it's actually getting dark already. But I'll be working doors anyway, so it doesn't matter. I haven't been productive during my time off. And like I just decided, you know what, let's tackle this. So let's get started. start a project and ask yourself what did I get myself into well this is quite involved all the all the mantle part is done one thing I totally forgot to account for is the brick behind the mantle if I don't remove that brick then I won't be able to put insulation so I actually have to remove all this and the red brick is actually the hardest like when I was doing the chimney anytime I ran to this sort of brick it was like the hardest to remove. So this is not gonna be fun, especially because I wanna try to minimize the dust. Now I've done a decent job at minimizing the mess. Like I've, like I kind of cleaned up a little bit, but the dust is not that bad so far. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, I don't know even know if that'll show on camera. There is dust like accumulating everywhere, but it's not that bad. But when it comes time to do that red brick, that won't be fun. Also, if you wonder why the audio is not that great, it's because I got rid of the mic I had. It was just a pain to have that on the camera. I had like this big rig and it was just, it was kind of cumbersome. So I'm just using the built-in mic. I bought some epoxy and I'm gonna try to glue a, a shoe mount on the camera so I can just put the mic on it. I don't know why the camera doesn't have one built in. But anyway, so yeah, so the next step is gonna be to remove all that brick. Now what I'm hoping is gonna happen is I might be able to just chip away at the edges and I might actually be able to just like take it out in chunks. Cause I mean, I'm guessing there's gonna be like a two by four. Like you might actually be able to see it. Yeah, there's like a two by four frame that goes around. So I'm thinking I'll be able to like pry it out, just push a whole thing into the garage. That's what I'm hoping. And then this big slab here it should come out easily, I think. Like it, it extends right to the end, but so you can see like the edge. So like these are just sections and they should pop out. So I'm not too worried about that. And then, yeah, so I'm hoping this won't be too hard to remove, but I'm gonna call it night because it's like past 10 and this actually makes a lot of noise. And I'm going outside and dumping stuff in the pile. It's a weekday, so I don't wanna make too much noise. All right, so this is a different day. Off camera, I was kind of messing around with the bottom part. And at first I was a bit worried because I thought it was solid concrete, but it looks like it's actually bricks. But there is solid concrete that's flush with the hardwood floor. So that might be a little bit of an issue, but I'm gonna chip away at it and see where that gets me. And another thing too is all that brick that's around, 
Originally, I wasn't going to take that off, but I decided I should probably remove that so that I can insulate properly behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the bottom part first, and then I'm going to put a tarp over to try to keep the dust down, and then I'm just going to do the rest from inside the garage. I think that's the best bet. So yeah, let's get started. Good progress going on. That is a hole right into the garage. Actually, see under the garage door right here. That sound you hear is rain. Yes, it's going decently smooth. The only thing I'm worried about is this concrete here because it's flush with the floor. Wow, is it ever coming down? There's something weird about hearing rain this loud from inside my house. I don't know if the mic is picking that up. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm a little bit worried about this concrete over here. So this is flush, so I'm hoping that I can actually chip that away. Because it almost looks like it might be like a motor, so I might actually be able to chip some of that away. Like over here, there might even be more bricks. Because if I can actually open this up and have like a hole here, then I can just put some floorboards and cover it up. So yes, that's kind of my only concern. Good news, it looks like there's solid concrete, but it's actually below the floor. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so it's not flush with the floor, it actually went below. There was just mortar for the bricks that were on top. And yeah, so that is actually the solid concrete there. So I'm not going any lower than that, but it's fine because the floor is over it. So what I can probably do is put like a sheet of plywood and then I'm still gonna have room for actual boards, like for a hardwood floor. I'll probably make those up with like two by fours or something. It's temporary because this floor eventually I'll get it redone. And all those bricks should come out easily as well. So at this point, what I'm going to do is actually just put a drape over this and then I'll just do the rest from inside the garage. That way the dust is not gonna be inside the house as much. So yeah, so I'll keep going.
Well, it's all done. So that went relatively well. So now the only thing left to do is to put insulation and then to put a vapor barrier and then put drywall. And I think I'll call it. Originally, I was going to completely demolish that wall so I can redo the vapor barrier because they never bothered to put tape when they originally built the house, which is kind of a pain because it's, it leaks air like crazy. Because when you put a vapor barrier, the whole point of the vapor barrier is to air seal the, the whole house. So it needs to be like a continuous envelope all around the whole house. Well, it's not in my case. So I was gonna redo that wall and then redo the vapor barrier and then tape it. But even if I do all that work, as long as all the other walls are not done, I'm still gonna lose air. So it doesn't, it's almost pointless to do it unless I'm gonna do it at all. And it's a big messy job. So I think what I'll do is I'll patch it up and I'll try to even do the drywall patching myself, see how good of a job I can do. And then I'll paint it. And, and it, I mean, it probably won't look the best, but then in the future, if I decide I actually want to redo that wall, then I'll just leave that for the future. So yeah, so anyway, I'm really happy with this result. And that's pretty much it for this video. So bye. We're gonna build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. Build that wall, 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 build that wall. So, we're gonna build it. Who's gonna pay for the wall? 100%. By the way, 100%.